What's up, my speed G? Welcome back to the board to reaction today, my little cheeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeee
Why is she still Wait, food? She, she ain't finna put the damn sausage in a like bag or something. She, she put just, it right in the bag, right in her bag. <laughs> <laughs> Ew. Ew. What the fuck? She's still in food for it. No, oh, Kalaki. <laughs> oh, what if she found like a dog or something? She's been feeding it. True. Oh shit! Oh shit! <laughs> If it's a dog, you've seen this anime before, Ching. You've seen this episode already. Even though it was just released today. Jaggy? I guess it is a dog or something. What's the dog doing? Watch it be like a fucking bear or some shit. <laughs> Jaggy. Prem. Oh it my may God. actually be a bear. <laughs> <laughs> Got some scars. Bro, he been through some shit. Yeah. Oh, what the dog doing? Damn. <laughs> he's got he's got blue eyes and white fur. It's a beautiful ass dog, man. Look at this dude. Man dripped out. <laughs> dripped out. <laughs> bro, it's that natural drip, bro. <laughs> oh, she did wrap it up. I did not like that noise. <laughs> <laughs> Especially since it's a fucking sausage. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Eating that grapefruit technique, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> the dog is like Kawaki. It's <laughs> <laughs> a big dog. What a dog doing? <laughs> Look at this dude. Yeah, he's all skin and bone. Why does she look like that in that frame? <laughs> yeah, Kawaki was saving a dog with Sumida. Get a house dog. That's a lot of berries, bro. Do dogs eat berries? Oh, they're just carnivores. It's like, yeah, I'm about to say, I feel like that dog was like a symbolization of Kawaki, or the wolf. Kawaki's changed so much already, man. You're not gonna beat your ass. She hit you with the 128 gram tripalm, whatever fuck it's called. I forgot. <laughs> Damn, bro. Kawaki's learned a lot. Oh, damn, bro. Oh, oh. shit. Is he fighting? Damn. Bro, it's the alpha. It's enemy dogs. Pack on pack violence. <laughs> yeah, run away, little bitches. Leave my man on Jaggy alone. They saw Hema and like, hell no, we gotta get the fuck out of here, man. <laughs> the stories have traveled far and wide, even the animal kingdom of <laughs> fucking Kerma up. <laughs> so Hema was the thief. Kawaki needs to train too, though. Get control over that karma. What is that? Oh, what the hell, boy? What the fuck? Bro, I feel like Kawaki's going through something. He definitely is. Bro, that part of the village looks so sick. Yeah, it does. It's like all modernized. Yo, Hima, bro. Oh, shit! Oh. This man has PTSD. I wonder if that's a dream or a vision of what's going to happen. We know Jigen could do that, bro. He's powerful enough. Because we do know they're linked. And what if, well, I don't know if like their thoughts per se would like transfer. I don't think they, they would. But like, what if that's like what Jigen's plotting, you feel me? And then it's just like transferring over to him or something. Yeah, because didn't Momoshiki say something like, I, I can see your future or something like that? Like I can see what tragedies go, like awaits you or something like that? I don't remember, but I think he said he can like watch over him or something. I don't, I don't know. I could have swore it's something about the future. We'll go back to episode 65 after this episode and just, just see because what if he actually is getting a vision from like the Otsuki that's inside of him or something? Because that would be, ooh, unless that is just a dream, but... Mitsuki! 
See, Boruto already feels it from Kawaki. Yeah, the karmas are growing rapidly, bruh. Facts. Big Brain Mitsuki. Oh? Oh, shit. <laughs> Where's Jaggy? You better be here, man. No! Where is he? Bro, they bunked him. Big ass prince. Oh, bear. Bear. oh shit! Oh, no, bro. Dude, is this man dead? No! 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 He's just taking a nap, right? He's just taking a nap, right? Bruh, please. Is this man actually dead? No! Bro! Bro, fuck that bear. No, he actually died, bro. Come on, man. You're outcast, yeah. Man, what the fuck? Wait, because of his sacrifice, no harm came to his pack. Bro, I feel like that's so low key, like some Kawaki shit. Like, so Kawaki's gonna run away from the fucking village. So he, he, like, sacrifices himself and makes sure his pack or, like, his family in the village won't get destroyed or killed. It's like the pack is like Naruto, Boruto, Hima, Hinata. And then Kawaki is that. There's Jaggy. Yeah, man. No fucking way, bro. Because also that dream. That dream is going to push Kawaki too to leave. <sighs> man, rest a piece of Jaggy, bro. Oh, no. Is Kawaki already going to leave? No fucking way. Man, Jaggy was sick, bro. Can we get an F in chat for Jaggy, man? That's like one of the most sad Boruto deaths. Man, bro, I thought they were finna like like a happy ending and they were finna like add him or like take him home, bro. That's what I'm saying. I thought they were gonna take him home and have like a little, little house dog, house wolf. So is Kawaki leaving the village now? He He is. He high keys leaving the village. They they fucked Tsunade up in their fucking statue. Damn. Why she look like she got a damn double chin? Yeah, why she look like she gained 40 pounds? It's the right time to do this. Oh shit. Or he's actually, he's actually leaving. He's actually leaving. Man, rip Jaggy, bro. That fucking sucks, man. I feel like someone's about to stop him. Yeah, like he's on surveillance now, 24-7. Aborto! Huh? <gasps> oh, shit! You know that piece of paper he threw away? What if Kawaki wrote like a, a goodbye note, but then he just was like, oh, fuck that, and just threw it away? And then that's why he not the found. Because remember, she's like, Boruto, come here. I found something. And then Boruto went to the entrance of the village. Chink, you've seen this anime before. You've seen this episode before. <laughs> so he wants... Damn, so he wants to leave, bro. Yeah. Yeah, that's true, though. I guess that's true. Damn! Bro, this is kind of like when Sasuke left. Except, he, except he's doing it for more of a noble reason, I'd say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Not like power for revenge. Yeah, he's just <laughs> trying to protect the leaf. But what is Boruto supposed to do? Like, Boruto's not strong enough either. Does Boruto get himself killed? Okay, well, that's like Sasuke. Holy shit. <laughs> I feel like he's putting up a front, though. Yeah, because Kawaki, he likes Naruto. He wouldn't have fucking gone to save his ass. Yeah, that is facts. Like, the entire village should be destroyed. Shikamaru. Oh? Kawaki's also not thinking, though. Like, let's say Kawaki goes away and Jigen just teleports to him and takes him. And then Kawaki becomes the vessel for Ishiki. And it's, it's like the perfect vessel. And he doesn't have any limits like he does with Jigen right now. That's even worse for the Leaf. Then the, then the Leaf has no chance at all. Like at all. 
Because right now, I feel like Sasuke and Naruto may be able to hold out in an endurance fight now. Because they, now they know if they can just hold out, then Jigen can't use his power forever. Like, he had to have that crack in his fucking egg thing. It's also, it's also bad if he loses and runs away. He's, Shigamaru's getting what he wants, then. Oh, the Shadow Paralysis? Oh, oh shit! Aside from Naruto's about to say, <laughs> hell yeah! The Leafs pride. He wants Boruto. He'll want Boruto too. Yeah, he would come back either way. Yeah. Bam! Shigamaru came in clutch. Finally, bro. Hell yeah, bro. He was, he was always like the. Uh, <laughs> The less murderous Donzo. And I did not like Donzo. But it, made, it also made it worse when he murdered people and shit to get what he wanted. But anyway, that that actually it actually feels like the Chikamaru that I know, bruh. It feels like he has his skepticisms, but he's still open-minded enough. And especially when Naruto's pushing it so hard. Facts! Let's go! Man, rip Jaggy, bruh. So he doesn't have to be a sacrifice like Jaggy. Oh. Hima is adorable, man. Man, bro, that fucking sucks. Man, that was episode. Holy shit. Dude, there's been a lot of... And I actually really fuck with this. Like, there's been a lot of symbolisms to, I guess, represent the... His lessons learned through through some of the like most recent episodes. Yeah, I fuck with that too, bro. Like this episode, there was not a ton, there was like no fighting or anything, but that doesn't matter. Like it was still a really I and I enjoyed this episode. I thought that I mean, that just shocked me. I thought Jaggy was just gonna like become a house pet or something, but no, nah, that man. Dude, that'd have been so died. dope, bro. Yeah, he would be cool if like Hina was like riding him around. I had in my mind he would be like Kiba, or she would be like Kiba, like oh. riding around the dog, bro. And even if they couldn't, like if if you know like Hinata and Naruto wouldn't like allow him in the house they could have brought him to Kiba and Kiba could have like fixed him up you know got him good yeah facts but damn it was a lesson to be learned though like Kaoki was on that path to be killed like that dog was or like like Jaggy was Boruto and Shikamaru I guess just saved him they just saved his life because but there still is a threat it's like there's no easy solution to this like either Kaoki goes out and gets killed on his own and gets taken and becomes Ishiki's vessel and then and then Ishiki goes after Boruto to destroy the whole village or Kaoki stays in the village with Boruto trying up and try to get as strong as they can and maybe defeat Jigen or Ishiki whatever either way you can see where Kaoki's brain was going and like how what he felt like he had to take responsibility for it because he's right without Kaoki there Jigen would not have been able to spawn there but Jigen would be able to find it either way the leaf just it wouldn't be able to just instantly teleport there I guess but that was a really enjoyable episode. I, I enjoyed that. It's, al it's always a good episode too when you get to see Hima, the girl. Hell yeah. Bro. I want to see her. <laughs> I want to see her like, cause she has a little, those little whiskers too. I'm, I'm really interested to see what they're going to do with, with her and if she's going to become like a super powerful ninja or medical ninja or I wonder what they're going to do with her because maybe she'll be like the Sakura or the Tsunade of the of the series maybe because she is going to get older after time skip. If someone is watching this and you think that Kawaki and Hima are a good ship, you're fucking weird. That is fucking weird. You're fucking weird. She's like six. Kalki's like 13. Thank you for watching this board tour episode 209. A very interesting episode. Kalki was actually going to leave the village. He still could. He still could in the future, but for now, at least, I think he's going to stay here because in that, that look that he had on his face after Shikamaru told him that. Shikamaru at this point was like Kalki's number one hater, <laughs> basically, especially to like to Kalki's face. He was his number one hater. He, Shikamaru did not want Kalki here, but even his number one hater from Kalki's point of view, which was Shikamaru, even Shikamaru was like, nah, like you're you're a part of the village now, bro. You're one of us. Super wholesome, man. Thank you for watching this episode, episode two on nine. Make sure you have a fantastic day today. Subscribe, get the plus and gains. Trust me, G. Check out a little chink in the description too. Become a YouTube member. Get early reactions. We're about.